Good morning. We're back in the world of Valheim, and since last time, there have been a few changes. A big one is that Miss Arlena now has iron armor. So, we have, let's see what we got. I have managed to get iron scale mail and upgrade it once. The leggings to go with it and upgrade it once. She has an iron helmet base iron helmet because she has run out of the iron to upgrade it. She also has a bandit shield that has not been upgraded yet. And a huntsman's bow, which also needs to be upgraded. She still needs to make a an iron mace and, well, a lot of upgrades. So one of the things we definitely need to do is get some more iron. So, first we're going to go over here and check how these are coming along. Still fermenting. Okay. So we have, have a bunch of tiny stamina potions. We have several medium, but we're working on, I think that's what we're working on here. Yep, some more medium stamina potions. We have... Lots of tiny health potions. And also several medium health potions. We have quite a few poison resist potions, but we have meat bases ready to make some more. And we have bases for frost resistance. So We'll start making those and have a few ready for when we're finally <clears throat> ready to go into the mountains. Huh. That statue. Alright, so. We've been to Serpent Coast. That's where we made our base armor at. And because, let's see, where is it? Boy, that's a fun area. And this Swamp Explorer, was it the Swamp Explorer? Yeah, Swamp Explorer. So if you look here, in here you've got Black Forest, you have Swamp. You also have some Plains and Mountain. All within a very short distance of each other. Would not want to be there during a raid. Definitely. Ten, of, 10 out of 10 would not recommend. Now, we go to Foundry. And. Oh yes, and we also have iron head arrows because, you know, probably a good idea. Uh, it's also probably a good idea to put on our helm. Oh, and last time I mentioned the mod that increases the amount of daytime. It doesn't in just increase the amount of daytime. It increases daytime and nighttime. So, it actually would work both ways. So, if I wanted to go explore at night, it would be a much longer nighttime. I'll see which way we're we going. Not that way. Oh, no. We are going that way. There's a dungeon maybe up this way. And I know that there are two dungeons here. One of which I've already explored. One of which I haven't. This crypt is pretty much done. So let's try for... Ah! No, 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 no. Uh-oh. I've missed... Hopefully we're putting that close to where it actually is. All right. I 
think it might be kind of close to where it was. Oh, yes, and we might want to have a poison resist made. Because they don't do any good if you don't use them. <laughs> That's the one we finished. I mean, we have pretty much finished with it. And, well, I did manage to get very, very close to marking this one properly. We need lots and lots more iron. Oh, and look, Mr. Draugr. Very nice of you to come greet me. Oh, look, there's another one over here. Oh, <laughs> I don't think he hit me outside. I think I just went out. There. Oh, there must be a spawner that way. There's got to be a spawner this way. There was. And now there isn't. Oh, we got some change. We got some poison arrows. That's good. All right. So we're going to take a look at the sections that are open already. And nothing left. All right. Wow. I hear something in there. Definitely hear something in there. Sounds like a blob. There it is. Thought I heard a blob in there. And now there isn't a blob in there. All right. Anything else? I do hear something else in here. See a chest. Oh, we have five so far. Oh, 
Oh, more chain. I will take that. One of the things I definitely like about the Crips is uh, they actually give you a free chain. Okay, both sides are... Oh, wow, three sides. Out in here, oh, we have a passage going under. Okay. And another passage going under. Okay. I'm going to put this on for a minute. Like the sides blocked off. And, oh, missed the muddy scrap pile. Did we get any iron out of that? A couple, not many. Now what about this side? I know one of those times I wish, uh, Pick acting was a little bit faster, but not too much. This one does look like it's going somewhere. Wow, come on, right. Oh, wow. Okay. Come here. Okay. Oh, I didn't get it all yet. All that, and I only got two more. And a dead end. All right. That was kind of disappointing. Oh, hello, Mr. Draugr. How are you today? Not doing too well, I see.
before. Okay. But we did miss some uh, scrap here. Which was good because it had another scrap. Oh, we're up to 15 now. Very good. Oh, a lot of fighting in this one. I mean, I probably shouldn't complain. I did want the iron. And that one looks like an underground or underwater passage. I'll be honest, not my favorite part, but not the worst part. Of course, I don't know why I do this when... Oh, and it's a dead end, so I guess it doesn't matter. But yeah, that's probably why it's not my favorite part, because... In order to get through it, you have to swim, which means you put up your weapons, which means you're helpless until you can get your weapons back on your... But you know what? It's part of the game. So who am I to complain about it? Come here. Thank you. Get closer. Thank you. This particularly dark dungeon. And it goes nowhere. Okay. So we're probably not going to get much further either. The pickaxe is already almost broken. Oh, did I miss something? Just a couple of pearls. Not a huge deal. Uh, okay, that's right. That is a dead end. Okay. In here. Yep. Yep, we've been there. Okay. Did I get turned around just now? I have totally gotten turned around. Silly me. Okay, keep going left until you get to the right place. Okay, there's our entrance. This was pretty mucked up, wasn't it? There's definitely something on that side. Leather scraps, huh? 
Not exactly what I was expecting to find in there. Oh, another blob. Hello, Mr. Blob. How are you? Oh, there were two in there. Okay. Probably not a good idea to get stuck right there. Just saying. Back all around really bad I did to get stuck right there. And ooze on or muddy scrap piles on three sides. Alright. Well we've gotten twenty three scrap so far. And we are Pickaxe is almost broken. So we're not going to get much further here. But let's see if I can't get at least one or two more scraps before we go. gonna get that one. And since we're leaving scrap iron on the ground, that means only one thing. We are out of space. All right. Okay, so I guess now that there was a chest here, I am going to put a couple things in this chest that I don't absolutely have to take with me right this minute. See if I can't get a couple more of these iron scraps on the ground. Uh, not many of them, huh? But, you know what else I can do? I can at least pick the stuff up. And put it away in that chest. So, what do we want? I think it's two, three... Yep, three. All right. Make sure we didn't leave anything else on the ground to despawn at some point in the future. Not a good place to save, game. Thank you. All right, so... We want to head well we're going the right way oh a one star leech Take the blood bags, use it to make some more potions with. So, uh, you, you know, 
none of y'all can hit worth a smack. Two or three of you hit the tree instead of me. I don't think I have room for. Yeah, no. You don't have room for it. Wee! <laughs> That's not the way to cross a bridge. Don't be silly. iron in there and get that forge started the rest of the stuff I really want to bring back with me but obviously not at the moment so we will show it all in here You would think I knew how to climb a set of stairs by now. Alright, so. Upgrade. We're working, waiting for our iron to make. And of course to upgrade the armor again, it'll take 10 iron apiece. It'll only take five to upgrade the Iron Helm to the second level. And uh, it'll take four for the shield, so one more I can upgrade the shield. But we also need, where is it? Iron Mace. And we need 20 iron for that mace. We have everything else. So we just have to wait on... The iron to finish making. We'll put that in there. We've already used 20 of our arrows. Wait, no. Have we? Yeah, we've already used 20 of our iron head arrows. Wow. Okay. Yeah, a pretty good start to that dungeon, I think. And I wonder if I can shoot that from here. Yes, I can. Let me go get that deer hide. Because I need that. And I'll take the mushrooms. Don't mind if I do. And I'll take these lone little blueberries. And is that a spawner over there? Oh, it sure is. Well, let's go say hi to the neighbors, shall we? Well, hello, Mr. Grey Dwarves. How are you today? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind me. I'm just dropping by. trophy bunch of other junk okay 
So, they're going to be much more polite neighbors in the future. We want to go. What's that? Oh, dungeon. Oh, and maybe I should eat. That would be a really great and nifty idea. Like our stamina is back up. Fortunately for us, we actually swim pretty well now. Take that wood. Um, let's go grab the wood that was over this way. Stuff we had to leave behind a minute ago. All right, back inside, oh, where we have already made a nice little pile of uh, iron. Put that. Actually, not put that in there. All this other stuff in there. Okay, put you in here, put you and you and you in here. We are at huh. Okay. I guess I was hearing things. Maybe I was just hearing the forge. I don't know. Okay. Upgrade. Well, we could definitely upgrade one of the armor pieces again. Or the iron helm. But like I said, I think we're going to hold off and make this, where is it, iron mace. So, it uses 10 stamina, has 55 blunt. This has 53 blunt, it uses 8 stamina, so that's going to use a little more stamina, but this has better block, less block force, but I bet you when we upgrade it, it'll be fine. Every knockback's better. I like the increased knockback on that iron mace, so definitely worth it. Somewhere in here must be a little more, except I don't know where it would be. There's a crate in here somewhere that's got some materials that I don't know about. 
Is it upstairs? Maybe. That's Gus's bed. And this is I guess a sleeping bag, but that's mine. That is part of the camp kit. You actually get to make, see these little campsite resources. If you have one, you can build a small tent. If you have two of them, you can build a small tent and the sleeping bag. And if you have three of them, you can build a large tent. But yeah. Still don't see a mysteri this mysterious chest that's got other stuff in it. Weird. Very, very weird. All right. Doing fine. And of course, I cannot see how many iron are left to make. Craft. Where is it? Iron, 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 iron. Iron mace. We do have enough to make our iron mace now. A fist sized lump of iron on a wooden shaft. And we have an iron mace. And how much would it take to upgrade that? Ten. So I would need ten iron to upgrade it. Mm, not as bad as I was expecting it to be. But, that being said, we're still going to need lots and lots and lots of iron before we're done. Well, it happens to be a good thing that there are still two and some trips to complete. Hopefully that will give me all the iron I need. And I will... Well, I'll finish that crypt off screen, see how much more iron I get, and next time, well, we'll do a little more exploring. And until then, bye for now.